We take things. So better to ask about questions. This is very important for me. And uh, what is different between case taking, case receiving, and case perceiving? This is very important thing. Before we go, it's the most basic thing. Case taking, case receiving, and case perceiving. It means Dr. Samirbhai Upadhyaya has uh, invited me to conduct at least three workshops with you. <laughs> so I am thankful to him. There are a lot of things, and I am sure that. You during our journey, we will understand the glimpses of this. As we are focusing mainly on exploration and how do we receive. The perception part that we will understand as we proceed. Okay. Rather than giving any theoretical definition, what we will be doing is experiencing and learning. I learn, I know, I learn, I forget. But whatever I experience, that remains with me. Is that right? Yes. yes. So we just try to be at the level of the experience. Okay. Aphorism shown 83 to 104. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So you know case taking what anyone had to say. So if you have any questions with regards to case taking or any difficulties that you are facing, apart from Dr. Swami Upadhyay would say, Sarah's told us, okay. We will go into that subsequently. Please share your views or difficulties about case taking. Out and you can have your lunch, open your lunch box and you can go home. <laughs> Do you have any difficulties? First, take family work and either way by way. Mother, sister, we can learn to take a day anyway. They lie away. Take a day 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 away. This question is very valid question. That if uh, in homeopathy we are going to build up family practice, that is the very usual thing. And when it is a family practice, you are going to have a cross retelling from uh, two sister in laws and what are the views each one for each other or daughter in law and mother in law and all these things are going to happen. Your husband and wife, they can have the gross details. So in such situation, whom to believe? That is a very good question, so we'll proceed with that. Any any other questions?
Okay, before we start, we just first take the Hanuman in all. Okay, so all of you. Everybody will be will say together. Hello. Yes. Yes. Okay. I swear that. I swear that. I shall practice. I shall practice. The teachings of homeopathy. The teachings of homeopathy. Perform my duty. Perform my duty. Render justice to my patients. Render justice to my patients. And help the sick. And help the sick. Whosoever comes to me. Whosoever comes to me. For treatment. For treatment. May the teachings of Master Hanuman inspire me, inspire me, and may I have, and may I have the strength for fulfillment, fulfillment of my mission. Of my mission. What is our mission? So you are with me. You are with Hanuman. You are with yourself. Okay, very good, thank you. You know what is the of 83? Yes. You know you have learned thousand times. We are not done. No, we are not going to do anything theoretically. Okay? This is individualizing examination of a case of disease. So, so many things that we have to see. In first sentence itself, it says all what? Individualizing. We know homeopathy individualizing. We know homeopathy is holistic. These two words always go with homeopathy, right? But he is not writing. This is the examination of a case of disease. Right at the first instance, he is very, very clearly telling it is individualizing examination. So, what does that mean? Individualizing examination. What is individualizing? Differentiating one from the other. It means all cases are not same. Very good. And examination. What is examination? Checking. Yes, examination means scrutiny. You examine this, you do the scrutiny. Examination means go through. Investigating, going through, but for what? To investigate. So, examine it is critically. Examination is not giving my exam, uh, giving a theory exam. Examination is you are critically understanding, you are passing through, going through for what? Individualizing. Okay? So, our sole purpose of case taking this. Whenever we are talking, we are focusing only one thing and that is individualizing. Every occupant will do that. Of a case of disease, of a case of a patient, is not written there. Okay? What is written? Individualizing examination of a case of a disease. So it means disease something we require to understand. Okay. For which I shall only give in this place general directions. It is very clear <coughs> that he will be giving only general directions. Who is, who is going to apply specifically? 
क्लोरिकेस वी इट इज अ जनरल टेक केयर ऑफ जनरल आइडिया बट यू हैव योर ऑन इंटेलिजेंस एंड योर ऑन डिस्क्रिमिनेशन एंड योर ऑन लॉजिक एंड वॉट टू डू वे सो यू वे बी अप्लाइंग द गाइडलाइंस लॉजिकल विथ योर ऑन रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी राइट Now, if suppose a patient comes, now in preliminary data we require to ask all the data or not, name, age, gender, sex, everything. Huh? So now, if a lady comes, who is a married lady? A lady comes hey, from the age. Now you are asking a question. How many children you have? Okay. Is there here anybody who is married and children? Yes. Okay. So, number three. How many children have you got? She does not have a child. Now the lady says, "I have two children." Then my next question is, "Are you married?"
So does it require any explanation? No. Check in your difficulties. Have you mentioned this anywhere in your difficulties? No. Anybody? Say no. No. Oh, no. Yes, great. So it is not there in any of the difficulties. So prejudices is not our problem. Attention is not our problem. Sound senses is not our problem. And fidelity is not our problem. Anybody has any problems over these four factors? See, this workshop this is not a lecture, this is not a seminar. Anybody has any problem with regards to this four? I have to ask individually, now I know, yes. Now, hey, hey, you have, you have, sure, you have, hello, you have any problem about this four? What are you practicing? Are you free from prejudice? So, but that is not a problem. Ah. Okay. So free from prejudice is not your problem. It is your problem. Okay. How many of you feel freedom from prejudice is a problem? Okay. So rest of all you will help them. Okay, second point, that is sound senses. Anybody has any problem with regards to sound senses? How many of you are getting some sleep? Okay. So, sound mind gets on some sleep. We all are not getting sound sleep here. But everybody has a sound mind. And sound mind is getting disturbed sleep, on sound sleep. See the connection. Isn't that peculiar by itself? The individualization? Are you getting my point? How is it that mind is so sound and sleep is so disturbed? Please think over. Uh, basic fundamental condition so that when we act on it, it becomes easy for us. I am not going to much detail of the explanation. If you have any difficulty, you may ask. Because things are usually self-explanatory. And I went to talk about individualization. So he said, not only sensations but modalities are very, very much necessary. And modalities individualize the patient. Keep all these things in mind. What is important to individualize is modalities. Use your paper and pen, always. Then we talk about symptoms, which are in alternating actions. They get character individualizes the patient. Sir, this is an example of alternating symptoms. What is alternating symptoms? What is alternating? Hello, what is alternating? One is replaced by other. Okay, so you know that. Symptoms, what is symptom?
these symptoms are alternating. Now, which symptoms are alternating? Primary symptoms which are alternating. So, you know, there are how many different types of symptoms? Primary and secondary. What is secondary symptom? Secondary, that comes secondary, which is not primary. So, what is primary? Which appears first. After what? Appears first after the proving. During the proving, after the remedy, the, the symptoms which comes first, that is the symptoms of the remedy itself. It is not of the prover. But yes, there is always, whenever there is an action, there has to be reaction. So, secondary symptom is a reaction. Okay? So, this secondary action, secondary symptom is not the part of proving. And that is what Dr. Harry, Dr. Bodinson, everybody has warned us not to consider secondary symptoms in the totality, but consider primary symptoms. Now, in the proving it has been observed that certain remedies have a capacity to produce alternating states or symptoms as a primary effect. So, how will I understand that this is primary or this is secondary? Because after the I take drug, I will have a primary effect. But it may be followed by secondary effect. So, and that may be exactly, action and reactions are exactly opposite, na? So, how will I understand that that is a secondary Because here he is talking about both primary. So, secondary is coming from the patient, from the poor, not patient, but from the poor. Proved. So, this proves primary data you have taken when you are taking a case, uh, starting the homeopathic uh, pathogenetic trial that is proving. Proved ka basic database is not taken. So, when you, are, you have already taken the record of the patient, now whatever reaction that this patient is proving, you can check with that that this belongs to the remedy or this belongs to the patient. Possible or not? Okay. Sometimes it happens that patient has forgotten, the prover has forgotten to tell that in the record. Or physician has not given importance to that. Possible? So whenever, after primary effect, any other symptoms are coming up, may be opposite to that. So it is required to be to make inquiry with the brewer. Ever patient a brewer had such kind of symptoms. Or in such situation, how does brewer usually react? Is this clear? So from that you understand it is a drugs effect or a the brewer's effect. So when it is a drug's effect, certain drugs are known to have alternating states. Crocus sativa is known. Crocus sativa. What is it? Kesar. You put kesar, saffron in your food. So from that what is the remedy? So, Crocus sativa, it is known to have alternating effects. Crying, weeping, sadness, alternating with cheerfulness. Pulsatilla can have alternating moods, changeable, mood changeable. You always write, nah? you are writing Pulsatilla. So from where are you writing? Changeable, change, changes. So these are the alternating states. 
which we overlook when we are testing cases. We just point one flow. So many times, rather most of the time, alternating state, if they are there, it will be right in front of you when you are taking a case. Provided the third criteria that anyone said, The third criteria, attention in observing. If you are attentively observing, then those alternative states will be right in front of you. The patient is talking now this, and the next moment the patient is talking with a different mood. And we wonder how come patient was so serious now and now patient is smiling. Or patient is angry, and next moment the patient is talking of something else. So, if there is usually we find in the interview itself. Negative symptoms. Negative symptoms help us to individualize. What is negative symptom? You know negative symptom. Exam may be under the theory may write about negative symptom. Negative symptom. When patient comes to us, patient says that I have cough. Doctor, I have lost weight. My appetite is deteriorated. So what do you suspect the disease? Tuberculosis. I am having cough since long time, more than one month persistently. I have lost weight, my appetite is decreased. So, sir suspects what? Tuberculosis. So, what will be the next question of the sir? Do you get fever? Right? And specially, sir's point, do you get fever in the inpatient? Says no, usually no. I don't have much of a fever. Or it is all okay. Then the point is, do you get feverishness in the evening? And if patient says no, then that is a negative symptom for tuberculosis. Right? Whatever is sir? So it doesn't mean that patient does not have tuberculosis. Now the picture has varied of tuberculosis. But the basic uh, cardinal features of tuberculosis that patient is expected to have unique rise of fever. Right? It may be very mild. So that is a negative symptom. Patient comes with a page, hypopigmented page. Right? And it is long lasting. So, first thing you are worried, patients are always worried, especially the young girl, mother brings, my child, my baby is having this so and so now. At any age for mother, daughter is always a baby. Do you agree that? Yes. Yes. You know, we are in agreement in so many things, right? Very good. So, now what will be the negative symptom for this page? In terms uh, there is a page, hypopigmented page. Okay, it may be page may be on face. So when there is a hypopigmented page, the first thing what you are worried about. Cosmetological purpose because the patient is a girl. But as a doctor, for you all the genders are same, male and female. So your first is you, you will ask, is there any loss of suggestion or change in the suggestion? So what 
जिसका भी पॉइंटिंग है लेप्रोसी राइट एंड इन द हाइपो पिगमेंटेड पेज देयर इज नो चेंज इन द सेंसेशन नो डिमिनिशन और लॉस ऑफ सेंसेशन सो नो ऑल्टर सेंसेशन सो दैट इज अ नेगेटिव सिम्टम यू से इट इज नॉट लेप्रोसी राइट सो दैट इज नो क्लिनिकल प्रॉब्लम नाउ हेडवेन इज हैविंग नेगेटिव सिम्टम सो फ्रॉम रेमेडी पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू गिव यू वन एग्जांपल in remedy simple example arsenic al you know what is most expected symptom in arsenic al restlessness and if patient is quiet and calm will you give arsenic al no so that lack of restlessness is a negative symptom in you are brilliant Know it now. See, it is very simple. Patient is in diarrhea and weakness. Hmm? Now you are thinking, what to give? Phosphoric acid or arsenic? <coughs> so which one you will prefer? Is diarrhea profound weakness? Acid is also known for weakness. Arsenic is also known for weakness. Now, which one will you prescribe? You are in hurry. You don't have much time to take the case. Yes, madam. Arsenic. Why not phosphoric acid? Because phosphoric acid is a negative symptom. In cases of diarrhea, there is no weakness. Likho, di malo ito. Write down. Your write-up will have more face value than my face value. Okay. What the point? That acid force is otherwise very weak. It is acid, but there is no weakness despite diarrhea. What to do? So that becomes a negative symptom or no? Yes. So that is what Hanuman says. Negative symptom. Some aphorisms are there, but there is no time for going or saying no aphorisms and understand. We want to apply this into practice. It is not a theoretical class at all. So, what individualizes? Modalities individualizes. Alternating symptom individualizes. Hey, negative symptom. Acid flow. Acid flow. Acid flow. 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 That is a negative symptom for the group of acids because we are deriving in general for our understanding that acids are weak except chloric acid. That is for our learning we take it, but Hanuman uh, has not guided us for the group study. He says every remedy is individual by itself, but for Our purpose and for our exams and for our easy practices. We say all calcareas are like this and all baritas are like this. And that is how. What do we do? We create our own pits to fall into it. But that is also a different way than how you begin your study. But you require to be. Individualistic image. Either it is a group or it is a remedy. For example, remedy arsenic al. Okay, this is a chili remedy, right? What does that mean? Aggression from cold, sensitive to cold, gets affected by cold. But it is better by cold. 
Head is better by cold. Arsenic I'll be chilly, but head is better by cold. But if we read Keynes and other, uh, even uh, Mother America, Arsenic I'll head is also better by cold. But, but we prefer to remember that Arsenic I'll is chilly, but head better by cold. Distinguishing feature we are going to remember. Okay? So, we proceed further about Nandemann's idea about holistic approach. Yes, all the things we have to apply in the case. Whenever you are working your case, you have to make sure that you are asking modality, you are focusing on alternating actions, you are looking for negative systems. For example, number 153, what does it say? What symptoms are most characteristic? Striking. They are very peculiar. Right? So negative. Negative means expected but absent. So they are strange. Huh? That should give you a good strike and go. Oh, it is expected, it is not there. Right? So that is a negative symptom has a very, very, very high value in individualization. Okay? I proceed for the holistic approach. Restore seek to health. Aphorism number one itself says, don't heal the disease. Don't make symptoms free from symptoms. What it is writing? Restore seek to help. Disposition, holistic approach, disposition and constant usual occurrence of symptom helps assisting in ascertaining disposition. Okay? Low similar. This particular feature he has mentioned in his cases, consistent, constant, usual features always help you to prescribe. Are you getting this point? Symptoms should not be just like ayaram and gayaram. Symptoms should be consistent. Okay? And they should be usually happening in the case. It means naturally occurring in the case. It means it is not forcefully, unnaturally, hydrogenically suppressed symptom. What the point? You have you come here today. You have come of your own or somebody has pushed you or somebody has pulled you here. See what? A food I have. नहीं जोर से बोलो। सीओ। If you come willingly, then should you contribute or no? जी मेरी बात। Negative symptom। You are here, but you are not। Always you will find. यहाँ से देखा तो माधुरी दीक्षित लग रही है, यहाँ से देखा तो करीना कपूर लग रही है, है ना? But what is necessary is complete resemblance. And it must be correlated with curative power of remedy. What is the meaning of this? It must resemble with the purity power of the body. So how do we know purity power? Through drug proving. It means 
you prescribe drugs only not through the brewing, not hypothetically, not otherwise. There are so many other ways of understanding, understanding, we feel that we have understood or presenting the remedy. But Hanuman says, all those are hypothetical, only it should be having the curative power. Okay?